Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Samsung Dex videos. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how you can care, how you can have the best gaming experience on Samsung Dex and just, just general tips and advice for playing games on Samsung Dex. So this video will be divided into five sections. The first section will be just the general gaming hardware such as keyboard, mouse, monitor, those things. Then the second section will be to play games and how you can actually optimize your system and your Dex to play games on Samsung Dex, for instance, how to make them go full screen and how to just um, such things. Then the third section will be how to custom map your controls and just get the controls and such things working. Then the fourth section will be how to play emulated games on your phone. And then the fifth section will be how to play how to, how to play Valve Steam games on your phone. So yes, let's let me go ahead and dive into this. So the first section is hardware. So of course you'll want to invest in a good gaming keyboard, mouse, um, headset, mouse pad and monitor as well as get yourself a good game controller so um, my recommendation for mouse and keyboard it doesn't really matter as long as it's uh, as long as the mouse is at least uh, uh, as long as the mouse at least has has a high dpi then of course um as for the game pad uh, i mean for the mouse pad just make sure you have a good mouse pad that that, that, that works best for you as for the monitor, make sure to get a 1440p high refresh rate monitor. And um, also, I do I do I do suggest to try and get a touchscreen monitor because some games doesn't work with the keyboard and mouse or with the game controller. Some games is touch only. So make sure to maybe try and get yourself a touchscreen monitor for those games, and also just try and get at least a 1440p monitor with a high refresh rate. Um, if you can't, of course it's fine. I have a 1080p monitor with a 75 um, hertz refresh, refresh rate, but I do I do suggest to get a 1440p and high refresh rate one for yourself. Then of course, get, get yourself a Xbox One controller. The Xbox One wireless controller is definitely the best controller to have when 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 a game doesn't support keyboard and mouse. That's about it, guys, in terms of hardware. Um, you can also look into getting yourself a deck station. If you have a deck station, then of course the phone stands up and then you can video call easily and the, the, the deck station supports the Ethernet cable. If you have um, internet via Ethernet, um, via this, then sometimes it's faster and you'll have a better ping. If you have a deck pad, that's also still fine. Um, you can get the USB to Ethernet adapter to get Ethernet via USB. So that's, so that's, so that's also an option, but I, but I do suggest to get the deck station if you plan on doing a bunch of gaming on this phone. And if you and if your cable internet is faster than your wireless internet. In my case, my wireless internet internet is quite fast, so, so, so I don't actually need the Ethernet for my internet. And that's about it for the first section. Just make, just make sure to have good hardware. And as for headset, make sure you have a good headset. Um, because you'll you'll want to play um when you play games like PUBG Mobile, you'll want to hear the hear where the where the person is and where the shots are coming from. Also, have a good microphone for, to talk to people in the game. So that's about it in terms of hardware. Just 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 make sure to have general good gaming hardware when you play games on Samsung Dex. Okay, then for section two. Section two is just simply how to, how to make games go full screen and and just how to tweak your system to make games run run better on Samsung Dex. <clears throat> So the first thing is to go to your settings, Samsung Dex, and then make sure to enable Samsung Dex Labs. When this is enabled, then you can see here, attempt to resize apps that aren't officially supported on Samsung Dex. So when Dex Labs is enabled, then just simply it will try to resize apps to work on Samsung Dex. And this is quite useful to have. Also make sure that your develop, the developer mode is enabled. You can click on this like five or six times. And then you'll get this option here. Just simply say yes to enable to, to turn developer options on. If this is on, then simply your apps will also work better, your apps and games. So the first thing is to turn on Samsung Dex Labs. Then to turn on developer mode. Then the third thing is to go to <coughs> advanced features, games, and then enable games launcher. So game launcher is simply an app that is like a directory for all of your games but it has a bunch of features that optimizes your games and just makes them go full screen so first thing is enable dex labs second enable developer options third enable game launcher then go to game launcher and here's the game launcher then make sure to enable this full screen option here if you have a full screen 
turned on, then games will automatically launch in full screen. So let's let's, let's for instance go to um, let's choose a game. Let's choose um, PUBG Mobile because why not? So PUBG Mobile on Samsung Dex does have keyboard and mouse support, so I can actually go ahead and play the game with the keyboard and mouse. But keep in mind that some games doesn't support keyboard and mouse, so you might have to use the game controller or the touch screen. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and actually play PUBG right now, because the game does work, as you can see, the game launches in full screen, and the keyboard and mouse will, will of course work on PUBG Mobile. Also keep in mind, when you play games on Samsung decks, um, Android mouse behavior is different to um, Windows mouse behavior. So for instance, you have to click and drag around to look around on PUBG Mobile, where in PUBG on Steam, you, you don't have to actually click and move around. So keep, keep it in mind that gaming on, on um, Android is a bit different than gaming on Mac or gaming on Windows. That's one thing to actually, to actually just keep in mind when you play games. Let's minimize PUBG, because we will go back to it again now, now maybe. Actually, let's close this fine. Okay, so so if if you launch if you launch a game from Game Launcher, then the games will automatically go full screen. I can launch any game here, and the game will launch in full screen. For instance, let's go to Final Fantasy. Okay, so Final Fantasy actually doesn't launch in full screen. Okay, I was I, I was going to say that 99% of games do launch in full screen. If a game does launch in full screen, then you can actually press on the Windows key and up to make that game to, to make this game go full screen. I will now show that. Here's again, I'm going to press Windows key plus up, and boom, now, now the game is in full screen. So if the game doesn't go full screen, then you can, because you can simply press the Windows key plus up, but I can assure, I can assure you that 99% of games will launch in full screen. But if, if the game doesn't launch in full screen, just press, press Windows key plus up. Let's, let's, let's um, launch some other games, for instance, Disney Heroes. Okay, wow, well, I'm just choosing the, the incorrect games now, because now all games are, are not launching in full screen. Let's press the Windows key plus up. Boom, now the game is in full screen. Well, not, not exactly full screen. So if a game launches in full screen like this, small window here, then, 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 there's, a, then, then there's an easy way to fix it. Okay, seems it's working now. Let's wait and see. But most games will launch in full screen if you have the full screen button in, in, enabled there. Allow. Okay, let's just press Windows key plus up again. Boom, there, there the game is now in full screen again. Works perfectly. But if the game launch, launches in a small window here at the um, bottom left corner, then simply close the game and as soon as you open the game, immediately press Windows key plus up and then it will go to full screen. So make sure to, to just immediately press the Windows key plus up to make it go full screen. Okay, let's choose a different game. Um, for instance, My Flappy. Immediately goes to full screen. Let's use something something else such as Infinity Orbs, full screen. Let's choose um, the later, full screen. As you can see, most games will, will automatically now go full screen because you have um, full screen enabled and because you're launching the game from the game launcher. So yes, if it, if a game doesn't launch full screen, then just try and press the Windows key plus up. Okay, and then at the bottom of the game launcher, you'll find um, you'll find these games. So these games are games that 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 are not that are not officially supported on Samsung Dex. If I, for instance, go ahead and try to launch Asphalt Nine, you'll see this game can't be launched in Samsung Dex mode. Getting over it. This game can't be launched in Samsung Dex mode. Um, Pokemon Go. This game can't be launched in Samsung Dex mode. Asphalt Eight. As you can see, these games at the bottom are games that, 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 that cannot open in Samsung Dex um, just, just simply because the game doesn't support on Samsung Dex. So in, or, in order to actually go ahead and launch these games, you can right click, game details, and then here you'll, here you'll see a play button. Then click on this play button, and boom, the game opens now on Samsung Dex. Just have to wait a bit. As you, as, you, as you guys can see, so, um, so so the first thing to do is to, the first thing is to enable developer options, then enable Dex Labs, then enable Game Launcher, then 
enable full screen in the game launcher and then and then just and then just simply launch the games then from the game launcher and then games will work perfectly on Samsung Next. Of course you'll need to find out if the game works with the keyboard and mouse, with the game controller or with the touch screen. Let's exit here. Okay. Now, now let's go ahead and move on to the third section of this video. So the first section is to custom map controls and just um Let's say the game the game doesn't support keyboard and mouse and doesn't support game controller. It supports touchscreen only. But you only have these things. You don't have a touchscreen monitor. Then you can go to the Play Store and search for Octopus. So this app actually allows you to custom map your controls on your game. For instance, I can open up um, Octopus now. Here's the Octopus app. I can add games. Oh no, oh no. Don't want to open this game. Let's just close this game. Don't want to play this game now. Okay, so when you launch a game from Octopus, then automatically the game doesn't um, go in full screen. But remember, you can press the Windows key plus up to make, to make a game go full screen. So I'm going to launch PUBG Mobile now, for instance. Launch it, go full screen immediately. Come on. Okay, let, let's just wait here. Close this ad. PUBG Mobile. Go make a full screen. Boom. As you can see, here is now the, the um, controls on the screen. And you can actually change these controls. For instance, I can um, put this E. I can move. So, so, so if I press, press, press E on the keyboard, then this E here will trigger or F, or Q, or Tab, or B. And you can actually change this as well. As you can see here, you can change this and move it around. For instance, if, 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 I, if, I, if I press E, then it will click here. And I, I, won't be, I won't be showing any gameplay right now, but this is just this is the way on how to um, custom map controls on your Samsung decks and on your games. Is by using this Octopus app. It's very easy to use. You simply launch the game and then you'll find um, these custom controls. For instance, I can... Um, Add a control, for instance, I can add a key. Yes, okay, so if I press, for instance, the end button, then this um, key will be pressed here. So it's really as simple as that. I'm going to close this now. So you can use the Octopus app to custom map controls, um, keyboard and mouse, or game control controls to your games. If the game doesn't have any keyboard and mouse or such support, then you can use Octopus to give, to give that support to the game. Although, I don't really like using this app, um, because it's third party, but it's definitely useful to have if you want to custom map your controls. Okay, then the fourth section of this video is to play emulated games, for instance, to play PSP games. Let's go to the Play Store. So you can go ahead and download an app called PPSSPP. And this app will allow you to play emulator games, specifically to play PSP games on your phone. So um, you must first of all get the ROMs for, for the phone. Um, you can just simply Google and find out where you can download the ROMs for the game, for the games. But if you have the ROMs, then you can play PSP games with this emulator. There's a bunch of different emulators. For instance, you can go ahead and search for emulator. You'll find emulators for um, PlayStation 1, Game Boy, um, Mega N64, all these emulators you can find. Um, I mostly just use this PSP, PSSP, P, because I like, I like, I like to play um, PSP games. I also have another one I've tried out before. Um, I can't remember the name, but I, I was able to play, um, to play um, PS1 games on that one. Also keep in mind, you can also get stuff like cloud games, and then you can stream games um, from a cloud computer to your phone. Although I haven't yet looked into this, but this is also an option for you, by the way. Okay, then let's do, go ahead and look at the, the fifth section of this video. So lastly, if you, if you want to play Steam games on your phone, then you can go ahead and down, download an app called Steam Link. So if you have Steam Link, then you can play Valve Steam games or, or Valve, or I mean Steam games on your phone <clears throat> and Samsung Dex. You will of course need a computer with Steam on it as well as um, a Steam account and actual games. 
and then you can simply link your um, phone with the Steam Link app to your computer and then you can stream games from the computer to your phone. And I've, been, I've played a, lot, a bunch of games on this and it works perfectly as you can see here. And you can play GTA V, you can play uh, Firewatch, you can play CSGO, you can play Dota. All those, all those games can then be played on your phone via Steam Link. And very fun to actually have and play. So I definitely recommend this app, this app if, you want, if you want to play um, um, Steam games on your phone. And guys, that's basically it for this video. It's as simple as that and, and a way to play, um, to have the best gaming experience on your phone. It's as simple as that. Um, I, I, believe, I believe that most of you guys will be playing native Android games. So just keep in mind, just remember to get the, the, the perfect gaming hardware and then to enable developer mode, enable Dex Labs, um, game launcher, and then, and then just simply launch the game from the game launcher. If the game can't go full screen, then press the Windows key plus up and it should work then. And yes guys, that's basically it for this video. Um, oh, and you can also custom map controls with um, Octopus app. Yes guys, lastly, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can find it right here and just press on subscribe. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.